So what's up everybody? This is going to be my Black Clover 338 predictions. I think this is going to be a interesting chapter. We're probably going to get more insights as to how the Land of the Rising Sun works, how it looks like. I'm pretty sure we're going to get a little bit more dialogue with Yami and his realization as to who Julius was this whole time, as well as Lucius. So let's get into my Black Clover 338 predictions. First of all, if you like anime, manga reviews, discussion, spoilers, and theories, definitely hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, like the video, comment. So we should hit me with some false copyright strikes. So let's get this channel back to 5,000. Check out the Discord. I'm using a new mic because my other mic is so heavy to keep around on the road. So bear with me if the mic is a little bit off. I believe this chapter is going to be very insightful in the sense that we're going to see more of the Land of the Rising Sun. We have been teased throughout the series about this place. Yami's homeland, we learned about it way back when. It was kind of like this foreign land that we never really had any communication or any line connecting to it besides Yami. It's crazy how when we finally figure out that Asa landed in the Hino country or land in the rising sun, Yami was in that chapter. I think this chapter we're going to get an insight as to how the land of the rising sun works, like the government, the structure. Also, we're going to see how they use key. Like I said before, I don't think they're going to be using magic. The reason why I say that is because yeah, they might have mana, but at the end of the day, I don't think Think they focused on mana i think they focus on key and because the land of the rising sun is so far away from the clover kingdom and that continent which we all assume is basically either southern europe or just europe in general it doesn't have that connection and i think because the continents are so far away hino country in the land of the rising sun has developed their own power system it could be based on key it could be just based on energy because key is in certain sense life energy so they could use life energy in terms of of using this new power system. I mean, we've been introduced to new power systems before. Hopefully, if this new power system is introduced, it is done with justice because the last power system with Saint Stage, Arcane Stage, it was murky. So it wasn't handled as well. Hopefully, Tabata handled it better. With that being said, this being the arc that represents Japan in the Black Clover universe, I definitely see Tabata putting a lot of national pride in this. So this chapter is definitely going to have some sort of power system or a way to express how powerful the people from Hino Country and the Land of the Rising Sun are. I think they're going to be on another level than the Clover Kingdom. Yes, the Clover Kingdom and that continent, they do have a lot of powerful mages, but I think instead of having powerful mages, we're going to have like powerful samurais in their own system. We're most likely going to figure out who that woman is that opened the doors to show where Asta's at. I think we're going to get a official introduction as well. We're probably going to see Libe in this chapter. We're probably going to get a better understanding as to how Ryu knows about devils as well as how they're able to heal him. It's going to be very interesting. Think about it. Libe is a devil. He's not going to be healed normally. And he has anti-magic. It's going to be harder for people to heal with Libe. So the person who's healing Libe has to use something that's not, in my opinion, out of mana. It has to be something like with Ki. I think Anime's Balls Deep said this, but Ki is also used to like drive out negative energy. Maybe Ki is used as a healing source as well. And anything's possible because we still don't know the full extent of how far keys goes because Yami was only 13 when he left he wasn't able to master that so now that we're going to be in a land full of masters the possibilities of key is endless also going to Yami we didn't see Yami in the last chapter and I wonder why I think it's because we're going to get an emotional scene with him and William Vengeance and it's going to be very intense because we still don't know how they truly feel like we understand that they feel devastated they probably feel like they've been used but we don't know what they're thinking exactly. After learning the person that has been basically like a big brother to them, being this evil guy, and then being used as pawns and basically almost dying so that this guy's plan can happen, that has to be very hurtful. And I want Yami and William Vengeance to have a certain dialogue so we can understand what they're thinking. Because right now, Yami probably thinks Asta is gone. Remember, Asta saved them. Asta is basically like a little brother to him in a sense. That annoying little brat that always wanted to be like you. So to me, it's speaks volumes as to what's going to happen in this chapter in terms of emotional dialogue between Yami and William Vengeance. There's a reason why we didn't see Yami in the last chapter. Could be because Yami and Ryua are like somehow cousins. They have different last names so they might be half brothers or there's a way that maybe Yami decided to take either the father or the mother's last name. Who knows? There's a reason why Tabata didn't have Yami and 
where you uh, in the same chapter. Also, like I wonder how the captains are going to become stronger. Are they going to go to a training? What exactly are they going to do moving forward? I know you know is ready to attack Lucius. How is Yuna going to prepare for this? Because we all know that you know is able to use star magic. He's able to use sync stage. Is he going to be able to combine those two magical powers? Like I would like to see how everybody in that meeting is going to power up. Because if you notice the scene with the Black Bulls, you see that Nero and Noel were not with the other Black Bulls. Were not basically explain what happened. So that being said, I think that group who's basically witnessed what exactly happened to Asta or witnessed Asta being teleported to Oblivion in their perspective, I think they're going to get strong and they're going to train with each other. I don't know how they're going to do it, but this chapter might put in some light into that. Going back to the Black Bulls. The Black Bulls, it looks like they're going to look for Asta. I wouldn't be surprised if this chapter further explores that. I definitely see them possibly somehow trying to track Asta in a way. Maybe Gordon is able to track Asta with his family's curse magic for whatever reason and then reverse it in some way. Who knows? Or one of the other Black Bulls is able to sense where Asta's at. I'm not entirely sure, but somebody in the Black Bulls is going to figure out where Asta's at because it's going to just be weird for them just to look everywhere and not find Asta in seven days. How is it possible for them to reach where Asta is in less than seven days without using Knot's magic? So, of course, somebody's going to figure out and sense where Asta's at and then Knot's going to do his shadow magic to do his best to get to the land of the rising sun it's just be interesting how asta is going to be able to come to the clover kingdom i know there's been theories that ryua is going to do a boat that's able to travel the world i saw that video from anime balls deep also i would like to see the black bulls figure out how they're going to get stronger as well because them searching for asta it still leaves that problem as to how they're going to get stronger like i hope they get quality time this is the last arc so they have to have a moment of shine anybody remember leo he's kind of been forgotten at this moment so i wonder if leo is going to be in this chapter after he figures out what happens to asta because remember leo does have a rival friendship relationship with asta so i wouldn't be surprised if we see him in this chapter i mean he feels so unrelevant lately but we definitely need to see him as well unless tabata forgot about him but who knows going back to when the black bull is getting stronger how they're going to train if they're going to be looking for asta or are they going to learn things about key as well as asta because if you think about it it would be interesting that the people that have been influenced the most by yami go to yami's homeland and learn the way of his people like that is the ultimate bonding moment because yami has been such a big influence to these people lives so i wouldn't be surprised if the black bulls learn something to, with key i mean obviously they're not going to perfect it but at least they can make their battle skills a little bit stronger because them just searching for asta for seven days how are they going to improve their skills and i know it's been a year and, and three months and they probably improved their skills since then but still there's levels here and so and the cast is basically to start fighting pseudo angels it's cool that the captains get their shine but the reason why majority of the people actually like black clover is because of the black bulls so tabata needs to give them justice and i would love to see how they get stronger but yes that's basically all to say thank you so much for watching let me know what you think about this video let me know what you think is going to happen in black clover 338 do you think that is possible asta learns how to master his key do you think this chapter is going to introduce a new power system with key do you think that the black bulls are going to train with asta in some way somehow they can find out where he's at and then they learn how to do key i mean it'll be perfect for them to finally go to the country where the person that influenced them the most was born like if you like the video comment subscribe and i'm out of here